My 80% audience wants to play Free Fire on PC, and they often have confusion about which emulator is best for Free Fire. That's why I found 5 emulators where you can easily play Free Fire. Don't miss the last emulator because you can play both Free Fire and PUBG on it. I have already created tutorials for these 5 emulators, and you can find the links in the description below. Let's start the video. At number 5, we have KO Player. KO Player is a lightweight Android emulator based on Android 4.44. While you can't play PUBG on it, you can easily run games like Free Fire, Subway Surfers, or Temple Run. KO Player has earned its spot on our countdown. This emulator boasts a user-friendly interface that makes it easy for both beginners and experienced users to navigate. What sets KO Player apart is its customizable controls, allowing gamers to fine-tune their gaming experience. If you're into Android gaming on your P, CKO Player is definitely worth a try. At number 4, we have XA Player, which is also a lightweight emulator based on Android 4.22. I personally tested this emulator and found it to have a good performance. I tested Free Fire on this emulator, and it ran very smoothly. Now, you might be wondering why I placed it at number 4 if Free Fire runs smoothly on it. The main reason for placing it at number 4 is that this emulator only supports Windows 7, meaning you cannot run it on Windows 8 or 10. At number 3, we have Memu Play. While there are several versions of Memu Play available in the market, I have created a video on three versions specifically designed for low-end PCs. The primary focus of Memu Play is on providing a smooth and efficient gaming experience, making it popular among users who want to play Android games on their PCs. Memu is not only great for gaming, but also offers a range of customization options, allowing you to tailor your Android emulation experience to your preferences. Memu Play includes a multi-instance manager, allowing users to run multiple instances of the emulator simultaneously for multitasking or playing different games. At number two, we have Bluestacks. Now, there are several versions of Bluestacks available in the market, but I recommend trying Bluestacks 5. In this version, you not only get to see Android 6, but you can also run heavy Android games smoothly. This version of Bluestacks is specially designed to target low-end devices. Bluestacks is known for being one of the most feature-rich emulators out there, catering to both gamers and app enthusiasts. Bluestacks is versatile and can be used for various purposes, including running productivity apps and playing Android games on a larger screen. When it comes to Free Fire, and if the name Smart Gaga doesn't come up, it's nearly impossible. Smart Gaga is also a lightweight Android emulator with several versions available in the market. Smart Gaga is designed to optimize resource usage, providing a smooth and efficient Android emulation experience. It is designed to run on Windows operating systems, including Windows 7, 8, and 10. Smart Gaga is primarily focused on providing a smooth and lag-free gaming experience for Android games on a larger screen. So, these were some five interesting Android emulators that I have personally tested. If you want to install them, you can find the links in the video description. And if you are looking for the best screen recorder to record these Android emulators, click on the video that will appear on the screen. And I'll see you there. Bye.